So in this video, we're going to be talking all about factors. We're going to be able to figure out how many factors does the number 10,800 have? What are the factors of 10,800? We're going to talk about the prime factorization of 10,800, which you've done before. All right, there's going to be a little bit of ground covered in this video, so buckle up. First of all, I'm going to do the prime factorization. I do that just by breaking this up into two factors. I can see two zeros there, so 100 times 108. I can say that uh, 10 is uh, 100 is the same as 10 times 10. I can say that 10 is the same as 5 times 2. That's also 5 times 2. I can look at 108 and say that that's, uh, what is it, 2 times 54. I can look at 54 and say, well, that looks like uh, 2 times 27. And I can look at 27 and say that looks like 3 times 9. And I can look at 9 and say that that looks like 3 times 3. And what I have here is a prime factor tree. And this means that I can express 10,800 as this times this times this times this times this, 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 and this. So, write that down. So I'm left with 5 times 5, 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. And you should know that you can express that uh, using powers. So it's going to look a little more like this. 5 times 5 is 5 squared. 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed. And 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the 4. Okay, that number here is the same as the thing we started with, 10,800. Okay, so far so good. Now, I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to talk about how we can sort of split up 10,800 in many different ways. So what I can do is take our prime factorization here and express 10,800 as something times something by using all of these things. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so I've got 5 squared, which is 5 times 5. I'm going to use 1 5 here, and I'm going to use 1 5 over here. Okay, uh, I've got 3 times 3 times 3. So I'm going to use 1 3 here, and I'm going to use 2 3s here. Okay, and I have uh, 2 to the 4. I might use 3 of those 2s here, and I might use 1 of those 2s there. So what I've created is a number times a number. And those brackets I don't really need, but what I'm telling you is this is going to be a single number, and I'm going to multiply it by another number here. Now, I should just use powers to clean that up a little bit. And this is a really powerful technique, because now what I have is a number times another number, and I'm sure that it's going to equal that, a factor, a factor of that number. Now, I've picked up my calculator to do this, and 5 times 3 times 2 to cubed is 120, and 5 times 3 squared times 2 is 90. I now know that 120 times 90 is equal to 10,800. Now this is a really creative process because we can combine those in any way that we want. So, for instance, let's rule that off, 10,800. What other set of factors could I do? Okay, well, maybe I'll put all of the 2's here and um, just one of the 3's. And then I'll put all the stuff that's left over here. So what's left over? 5 squared and uh, 2 of the 3s. And I can say with certainty, I've used the prime factorization of 10,800. I've split it up among two different numbers. And what I'm going to get is 10,800. Now in this instance, we have 48 times 225. And I can be sure that it's going to equal 10,800. Now, there is a way that we could do this really systematically and find absolutely every factor of 10,800. So let's draw ourselves up a little table and be really systematic and figure out how many factors the number 10,800 has. All right, this table probably doesn't make a lot of sense at the moment, but stick with me. We have the number 10,800. It's made up of these things here. And we can create a set of two factors by taking any amount of 5s, 3s, and 2s we want for one of the factors, and any amount of 5s, 3s, and 2s we want for the other factor. Right? We're just going to focus on the first factor, which means that to create a single factor of 10,800, we just need to come up with some combination of 5s, 3s, and 2s. Okay, now, we can have no 5s. 5 to the 0 is the number 1, right? It just means that we're not going to use the multiple 5, or the factor 5, in our calculation. 5 to the 1, we're just going to use 1 5, 
or 5 to the 2, we're going to use two fives. Okay, so down this one, I'm going to say, well, I could use 3 to the 0, right? Uh, so that means no 3s either. And 2 to the 0. Hang on. I'm not using any 5s. I'm not using any 3s. I'm not using any 2s. What is that? Well, that's the factor 1. 1 times 10,800. Okay, let's move on. I could use no 3s, but I could use 1, 2. I could use no 3s, but 2, 2s. I could use no 3s, but 3, 2s. No 3s, but 4, 2s. Now, those factors in order are no 5s, no 3s, and a 2. So, factor 2, a factor of 4, a factor of 8, and a factor of 16. So, so far I know that 2, 4, 8, and 16 are factors of 10,800. Now I can um, move on and do 3 to the 1, and I can move down the list as well. So I have 3 to the 1 times 2 to the 0, 3 to the 1 times 2 to the 1, 3 to the 1 times 2 to the 2, 3 to the 1 times 2 to the 3, 3 to the 1 times 2 to the 4. All of those are factors as well. Let's just pick one out at random. Let's pick that one there. All right, 3 to the 1 is just 3, and 2 to the 2 is 2 squared, which is 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. I know that 12 is a factor of 10,800. All of these are factors of 10,800, which means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so far. And I've just added a bunch more here. 3 to the 2 times 2 to the 0, 3 to the 2 times 2 to the 1, 3 to the 2 times 2 to the 2. Duh, duh. Okay, and I can just pick one of these at random again. 3 squared is 9, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, so 72. 72 is a factor of 10,800. So that 72 was a factor of 10,800. Now I've run out of space here because you should realize that, wait a minute, needs to go further here because we've only gone to 3 to the 2, but there's another option here, 3 to the 3. So we'd have a whole nother set of five numbers, 3 to the 3 times 2 to the 0, 3 to the 3 times 2 to the 1. Th okay, so we need an extra 5 down there as well. Okay, so it's a big long list. How many though? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 to the zeros, 5, 3 to the 1s, 5, 3 to the 2s, and 5. 5, 5, 5, 5. There are 20 different factors in this list. And I can take that and move it over to here as well. Now, all of these numbers would appear over here, okay? Uh, but I'm just going to focus on one of them and figure out that factor. Now we're in the 5 to the 1 column here, which means that this factor would be 5 to the 1 times 3 to the 1 times 2 to the 2, which would be 5 times 3 times 4. Uh, 12 times 5 is 60. So I can say with certainty that the number 60 is a factor of 10,800. And of course, there are going to be 20 there, 20 there, and there's also going to be 20 over here. So there are 20 numbers there that I haven't bothered to, or 20 factors I haven't bothered to put in there. Let's just look at that one. That one is in the 5 to the 2 column. So 5 to the 2 times 3 to the 2 times 2 to the 3. We can type that into our calculator and we can figure out what that factor is of 10,800. And that's 1,800. And so now we know that 1,800 is a factor of 10,800. Now, it's pretty easy to see how many factors 10,800 has. It has 20 in this column, 20 in this column, and 20 in this column. There are 60 all together. 60 factors for 10,800. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, okay, uh, that's pretty cool, but I don't want to draw up this massive table if someone asks me how many factors does this number have. But luckily, you don't have to. Because it's a combination of all of our 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1s, 2 to the 1s, 3 to the 2s, whatever, we can create a combination or a number of combinations by looking at these powers and saying, right, okay, 5 to the 2, that's either going to be 0, 1, or 2. So there are three options for what I could do there. This is either going to be 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1, 3 to the 2, or 3 to the 3. So there are four options there. And finally, this is either going to be 2 to the 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So there are five options there. If we do 3 times 4 times 5, we get 60. 60 factors. So to put it in a slightly like um, mathematical form, if x, if a number, in our case, if 10,800, 
can be written in this prime factorization. This is a1, n1, a2, n2, a3, n3. In our case, this was a1, 5, n1, 2. This, is, this little subscripts here, we just use it when we have a lot of algebraic stuff that we want to talk about. We can say that the number of factors will be equal to n1 plus 1 times n2 plus 1 times n3 plus 1. And that's a really fast way of being able to say 10,800 has this number, 2 plus 1, times this number, 3 plus 1, times this number, plus 1, 4 plus 1, 3 plus 4, plus, uh, 3 times 4 times 5, which would be 60 factors. And that is how we can count how many factors a number has. Pretty neat. All right, this video has gotten a little bit long and then it got a little bit algebraic towards the end here, but don't lose sight of what's going on. We had a number that we broke into a prime decomposition and or prime factorization. And then once we had that, we can recombine these prime factors to create other factors and then inevitably to be able to count how many factors a number has.